Virtual YouTubing, also referred to as VTubing, has emerged as a groundbreaking and promising platform for creating digital content in today's age. This unique genre of content, characterized by the utilization of animated avatars inspired by anime characters, has not only redefined the notion of digital identity, but has also captivated an audience that spans the entire globe, ushering in a brand new era of online stardom. The success of these digital personas is not solely determined by views or social media followers, but also by the substantial incomes earned by some of the most accomplished VTubers through their online communities. Within a relatively short span of approximately five years, the VTubing industry has firmly established itself as a dominant force in the realm of content creation. However, the ascent of VTubing has not been without its challenges. Similar to any other large online community, the VTubing community has encountered its fair share of controversies, which have occasionally served as a breeding ground for public drama. In environments where the combination of online anonymity and public visibility can lead to heightened tensions between people, it's important to realize that this does not represent the entire VTubing community. Numerous prominent VTubers, supported by major content management agencies, have successfully navigated the challenges of online fame with grace, upholding the integrity of their brand and avoiding controversies that could tarnish their reputation. These organizations organizations play a vital role in guiding their talents, enforcing various rules and regulations to ensure that their streamers' content remains suitable for advertisers, and assisting them in avoiding the common pitfalls that less cautious creators often stumble upon. Despite the measures that have been implemented, 2021 witnessed a significant controversy within one of these major companies, V Shoujo. In November of that year, the talents of V Shoujo became the target of a swatter, prompting law enforcement to intervene. Nux Taku, a well-known YouTuber, eventually discovered them and created a video exposing the situation, despite the talent's pleas for him not to do so. They were concerned that it would further jeopardize their safety and reveal the swatter's methods, potentially enabling others to replicate the act. But by the time the video was made private, Nux had already faced significant backlash from the creators within and outside of the VTuber community. However, Nux asserted that he had consulted with upper management, who not only supported his decision, but also greenlighted it. This conflicting narrative sparked a widespread debate regarding the appropriateness of Nux's actions, and also raised questions about V Shoujo's handling of the situation, including possible allegations of negligence. The controversy not only garnered attention due to its magnitude, but also had a profound impact on the perception of VTubers as a whole. It brought forth concerns about the sustainability of this rapidly growing genre, especially during internal conflicts. In this documentary, I, alongside my buddy Internet Anarchist, aim to delve deeper into the center of this controversy, unraveling the sequence of events that led to the highly public fallout, and examining its repercussions on all parties involved. I am Kusari, and this is the story of Nux Taku's clash with V Shoujo. V Shoujo, established in November of 2020, brought about a significant transformation in the realm of virtual entertainment, particularly in the field of VTubing. This agency quickly gained prominence by assembling a group of seven talented streamers. These individuals were already well established in the digital world, having garnered a dedicated following across various online platforms, especially Twitch, where they captivated audiences with their unique blend of entertainment, creativity, and virtual avatars. V Shoujo's formation was a strategic move to capitalize on the growing popularity of VTubing, with Twitch serving as their primary platform. By doing so, V Shoujo took advantage of Twitch's robust live streaming infrastructure and engaged community. This decision allowed the company and its talents to tap into a wealth of real-time interaction and community building that surpassed what pre-recorded content platforms could offer. The establishment of V Shoujo was not merely a business endeavor, but a cultural innovation that set itself apart from the Japanese-dominated VTuber agencies. Its American origins represented a distinct approach to the VTuber phenomenon, blending the established conventions of virtual avatars and live streaming with a western touch for entertainment and community involvement. This was further emphasized by the company's operational philosophy, which resembled more of a collective of creative individuals united under a shared vision rather than a traditional corporate entity. So why was this business philosophy so important for V Shoujo? I'm glad you asked, Kusari. At the core of V Shoujo's philosophy lay the concept of enhancing the existing appeal of its creators. In in contrast to other agencies that nurtured talents from scratch, V Shoujo's members were already well-known personalities with distinct styles and fan bases. This
This not only established a strong base for the agency's inception, but also facilitated a harmonious relationship between the creator's individual brands and V Shoujo's collective identity. It was a model that ensured mutual growth. The agency would leverage the combined popularity of its talents, while the creators would benefit from increased visibility and opportunities by being part of a larger organized group. The founders of V Shoujo, who possessed backgrounds in content creation, online entertainment, and digital entrepreneurship, brought a wealth of experience and insights into the intricacies of online culture and audience engagement. This proved instrumental in shaping the agency's trajectory as a company. They envisioned V Shoujo as a platform where creativity meets innovation, allowing their talents to explore different content formats, collab opportunities, and business models within the streaming space. This strategy resulted in great success. V Shoujo's talents swiftly gained recognition as comfort streamers, offering their viewers not just entertainment, but a sense of community and inclusion. Their streams, in a way, became the digital sanctuaries of many, where people could find laughter and a brief escape from the challenges of everyday life through this sort of virtual companionship. The streamers' capacity to connect with their viewers on a personal level, coupled with the inventive use of virtual avatars, set V Shoujo apart from the competition in a very saturated market. Nux Taku, also known as Nux, is a character who in a way contrasts the brand-friendly crystal-cut world of VTubing that has been described in this video so far. A Canadian-American YouTuber and streamer, Nux has established a unique position for himself by creating content that includes anime reviews, commentary, and various comedic videos, all infused with a distinctive, raunchy, sometimes sinful sense of humor. Before adopting his animated VTuber persona, Nux used a series of character stills to represent himself, showcasing his growth along alongside the media. His content, recognized for its flamboyant style and frequent references to anime, hentai, and streamer culture, has attracted a large following over time, solidifying his status as a prominent figure in the online community. Boasting over 2 million subscribers, Nux embodies the type of creator unafraid to push the boundaries and explore what is considered acceptable on social media platforms, often towing the line between controversy and comedic integrity. While Nux's connection to V Shoujo is not direct, it holds significance evident through his friendships with several talents even before the group was formed. His interactions with personalities like Project Melody reveal a complex network of friendships and relationships within the VTubing community, which has largely thrived on collaboration and mutual support. Nevertheless, this interconnectedness also laid the groundwork for future conflict, as seen in late 2021. In October, a troubling rumor began circulating within the VTuber community, gaining traction on platforms like 4chan and Twitter. The rumor revolved around a malicious individual or a group engaging in harmful activities specifically aimed at VTubers. These activities were not mere pranks, but rather serious offenses, including attempted hacking, doxing, and even swatting. Initially, these troubling reports were restricted to exchanges among those directly affected, whispered in the corridors of the community. And although the situation was alarming, it remained relatively unknown to the wider public, flying almost completely under the radar. However, on the 20th of October, Nux took to Twitter to issue a public warning, shattering the illusion of tranquility. His message was straightforward. Someone is trying to dox VTubers by mass masquerading as V Shoujo. I can't say more at this time, but please share this around and be careful. They tried to dox me, but I sniffed them out and gave them the wrong info, so don't worry about me. I spoke to the CEO of V Shoujo, and I'm trying to untangle everything. I'll update you when I can. This tweet not only confirmed the fears harbored by many, but also brought the issue to the forefront. The response was immediate, with the community banding together to spread awareness and offer their support. Some individuals responded by providing additional information to assist Nux, while others expressed their concerns and fears for the safety of those targeted. More than a month later, Nux uploaded a comprehensive video called How We Caught a Swatter that docks 12 VTubers, including myself which helped dispel the cloud of uncertainty that had surrounded the situation. Straying from his usual content, Nux delved deep into the core of the issue, recounting the various attempts made by malicious individuals to impersonate V Shoujo for nefarious purposes. Someone is out there impersonating V Shoujo, the massive VTuber group. They tried to steal my info, dox me, and swat me, and they've successfully done this to many, many other VTubers. This is not a video that I want to make because I want to. In fact, I literally just called someone saying, hey, I really don't want to record this video. <laughs> and he basically told me, yes, I have to. 
because this is one of those for the greater good kind of videos. That he detailed how these wrongdoers aimed to steal personal information, docs, and SWAT him and others, with some of these attempts unfortunately proving successful. The goal of Nux's video was not only to serve as an expose, but also as a narrative account of his efforts to prevent these threats. He spoke about outsmarting said malevolent entities, recounting specific incidents that required alertness and quick decision making. One particular incident involved an email sent to Nux and another party, supposedly from a V Shoujo staff member offering him a position within the organization. The email appeared genuine, filled with details that gave it a feeling of realism. However, Nux's caution prompted him to contact Gunrun, V Shoujo CEO, before sharing any sensitive personal information. The email was then revealed to be a hoax, specifically a form of cyber threat known as phishing, in which scammers conceal themselves as a trustworthy source to obtain sensitive information from their victims. Unfortunately, this realization came too late for another VTuber who had already fallen prey to the deception, resulting in being doxxed and swatted due to believing the email's legitimacy. I got in touch with a VTuber who was swatted and doxxed the day before. This is a smaller VTuber by the name of Saki Nightshade on Twitter. Nux's exploration into the shadowy realm of VTuber doxing took a dramatic twist when he successfully acquired crucial information about the suspected culprit through investigation and strategic deception. In the video, he describes the methods used to apprehend one of the most harmful figures in the community and shows the techniques he used to apprehend them. Some reverse doxage going on. This dude's domain name, after giving it to Subordinary Gamers, we were able to track down his dox. In addition to involving collaborations that span both offline and online resources, Sources, Gunrun himself, as well as law enforcement agencies, were actively involved in Nux's investigation, demonstrating their commitment to catching the perpetrator. The investigation ultimately led to the discovery of two YouTube channels operated by the offender, one of which featured a video where they boasted about their proficiency in swatting, an alarming and potentially deadly act of falsely calling emergency services to someone's home. In his video, Nux emphasized the gravity of swatting, prompting the audience to contemplate the real-life dangers that such actions could unleash. This is the most horrible thing you'd ever hear. Do you realize that people die of swatting? Do you realize that when you call a SWAT team to someone's house, very often if they see some moves that they don't trust, they literally shoot the person? There are... His video garnered significant attention, and at first received a generally positive reaction from the public, who were captivated by the combination of suspenseful drama and the meticulous detective work revealed through Discord messages and social engineering. Following the release of the video, V Shoujo publicly conveyed their thanks to Nux for his investigative efforts and for working together with them to address the matter. Their announcement helped boost the community's confidence, assuring them that the immediate danger had been eliminated by providing the perpetrator's information to law enforcement as swatting is in fact a very serious crime and punishable by law. This resolution brought a sense of closure and safety, equipping fellow creators with the knowledge to protect themselves from potential copycats. However, solving one issue only led to another. Despite the positive response from the audience to Nux's video, it sparked controversy within the VTuber community itself. Many VTubers expressed their disapproval, especially from V Shoujo, arguing that the video, by bringing widespread attention to the swatter's actions, inadvertently put the community at further risk. They suggested that such exposure might encourage others to replicate these harmful behaviors, increasing the likelihood of harassment and further harm. Adding to these concerns were claims that Nux had been explicitly advised against releasing the video in the first place. Critics accused him of disregarding the safety and guidance of his colleagues, opting instead to prioritize content creation and the allure of viewership over the well-being of the community. Nianers, known for her role as a co-founder of V Shoujo and a key figure in the the unfolding drama, expressed deep disappointment towards Nuxtaku. She criticized his apparent disregard for community requests to remove the controversial video. Additionally, she pointed out a pattern in Nux's behavior that she viewed as exploitative, using friendships and situations to create content. She argued that this approach consistently prioritized gaining popularity and views over the genuine well-being and safety of his peers. As tensions rose, Nux found himself increasingly isolated, facing criticism not only from the VTuber community, but also from his followers, ultimately becoming the subject of a widespread backlash. Nianer's message on Discord read, Didn't want to have to type out something so stressful like this on what was supposed to be a chill Sunday and my only day off so far this week, but I do not condone the video that Nux has released where he postures himself as our savior and seemingly takes credit for pretty much an entire year's worth of painstaking work done by V Shoujo's cybersecurity team. I would know that it took that long and took that much work since I was one of the 
the people who unfortunately had to work with them, and I'm incredibly thankful for their help. Whether or not any of the information he gathered helped or not, it is besides the point, and releasing a video like he did about a very sensitive and potentially dangerous situation that involves me and many of my friends only draws unneeded attention to it for some quick views, when if a video were to be made about this at all, it should have been handled with a lot more care and consideration. But for someone like Nux, who has consistently used my friends for clickbait views, and has done things like try to bait my friend into watching the Logan Paul Suicide Forest video on stream, and secretly recorded a private call with another one of my friends without permission, and then proceeded to use said call to make a video. It's clear that our safety or feelings about any of this is not the priority. The past year was hell for me due to this situation, and it's straight up painful to see it being used in a video like this that doesn't treat the issue carefully at all. A video that he was even told not to release since it could be potentially harmful to us and many other VTubers who were targeted. Responding publicly draws even more attention to it, so I have to choose between sitting quietly and seeing him receive pats on the back for coming to our rescue when his video could encourage even more harassment, or calling him out and hoping he retracts what he said and takes the video down before it gains more traction. If he wanted to actually protect people, he could have made a general PSA video about how to keep your information safe online or warn people about things like fake v shoujo email situations in a way that don't reveal a ton of unneeded, sensitive information and paint himself as a hero. He doesn't care about helping us. If he did, he would have listened to several of our concerns when it came to how he treats people and uses them for content. This video ultimately makes things worse for us. Anything for views though, I guess. My heart goes out to anyone else who is affected by harassment, and please be careful with giving out your information online. In an attempt to address the mounting criticism, Nux released several public statements. In a tweet, he defended his actions by stating his close collaboration with V Shoujo during the investigation process, and also mentioned that the organization had reviewed the video before its release and had not raised any objections at that time. This has been a stressful week for many, and I'm confident and proud of the community and the efforts that went towards resolving things efficiently. My latest video concerned someone that was maliciously impersonating V Shoujo and managed to trick individuals into giving personal information and doxing themselves and getting swatted. With the efforts of everyone involved, I believe this situation can be put behind us, with the culprit behind these attacks having been brought to light. I still do fully stand by the need for raising awareness of phishing scams. I'm incredibly glad that V Shoujo released a very well constructed cybersecurity statement addressing the situation, and you all should read it. In regards to my video, I worked with V Shoujo on this for a while, as they mentioned in their statement in response to my video. I did show them my video before posting it, and I was not requested to refrain from uploading. The rumors that I had posted it regardless of being asked not to are untrue. In fact, leading up to the events of posting it, I was a part of a four-hour conversation with their chief cybersecurity officer overseen by an executive of V Shoujo and one of the members of the group. I sincerely apologize if my actions have caused any undue stress on anyone. It was not my intention. I was only hoping to contribute to keeping the community safe. Despite these explanations, public opinion largely remained against him, with the community continuing to express strong disapproval of his actions. This controversy brought to light a range of complex issues, such as the ethical considerations surrounding sensitive security matters, the moral obligations of content creators to their audience and community, and the intricate dynamics of public judgment and condemnation on the internet. Nux's decision to remove the controversial video did not diminish the criticism against him, showing the enduring impact impact of the situation on his reputation within the VTuber community. To clarify his stance, Nux shared screenshots and a detailed timeline to prove that he had received implicit approval from V Shoujo before uploading the video. However, the absence of solid evidence indicating that he was explicitly warned against posting the video before its release did not lessen the negative response. Not too long after, V Shoujo released a statement of their own. The conflict between Nux Taku and V Shoujo escalated following V Shoujo's release of a public statement titled addressing miscommunications. This declaration was intended to clarify what they viewed as significant misunderstandings surrounding Nux's video, his subsequent reactions, and his apologies. V Shoujo began by outlining the security challenges faced by their talents, emphasizing that these threats had been effectively addressed through cooperation with law enforcement agencies. They presented a series of events that sharply contrasted with Nux's version of events, particularly regarding the approval of the video's creation. Part of the statement read, Any confusion that previously arose from this issue was the responsibility of V Shoujo staff. For this, we'd like to set the record straight. We did warn Nux about releasing the videos by outlining concerns from our cybersecurity team, but these are not the same as asking him to pull down the video. From our perspective, we believe these were strong warnings, and we could have been much clearer on the risks. We absolutely
absolutely stand by our talent statement to defend themselves, and we also stand by the need to take action when content puts our talent and the community at risk. Within the short time frame, we had little opportunity for Foresight to bring in the talent earlier to contextualize their feelings on the matter. We can and will do better moving forward. We hope clearing the air here with our context helps put this drama behind all of us. I am understanding of Nux's stance, and we hope our detailing from our side helps put everything into context. We do not wish to see this matter escalate further. Do not send hate or harassment to anyone. We're looking forward to continuing work as usual and hope all fandoms can see the many perspectives of this complicated interaction between Vishojo and Nux. Thanks everyone for reading Gunrun. As we move on with the story, let's hand the microphone back to Internet Anarchist to narrate from here. Despite Nux's suggestions, Vishojo asserted that they'd never approved the video, having explicitly warned Nux about the negative consequences of such content. This assertion contradicted the private messages Nux shared between himself and Vishojo cybersecurity expert. These messages seem to suggest a level of agreement, if not outright support, from Vishojo. For Nux to proceed with his video, albeit with some changes, this raised the possibility of an implicit endorsement from Vishojo, a further notion complicated by their later expression of thanks to Nux for his collaboration, which many interpreted as a show of support for his actions. The unfolding dispute shed light on uncertainties in the communication between the two parties. Vishojo's subsequent retraction and clarification aimed to present their previous responses as polite diplomacy rather than a definitive agreement. However, this adjustment seemed inconsistent with their previous interactions, causing confusion and concern among the audience. Despite Vishojo's efforts to express their concerns and take action, the mixed messages sparked an interesting discussion about the overall handling of the crisis. On November 29th, Nux released a video titled Moving Forward, in which he expressed a strong desire to move past the recent turmoil that had affected him and the VTuber community. He recounted a challenging period, which he believed his career was at risk amidst the height of this controversy. You're lucky, because it was extremely ugly to the point that I didn't eat or sleep for days, but I am glad we're at a point that I think it is behind us. Following the controversy, Nux Taku's decision to move forward was evident in the mutual apologies exchanged with Vichojo members, aimed to mend relationships and prioritize community well-being over past disagreements. This act of reconciliation marked a significant step towards healing divisions and showed shared desire to move past conflicts. However, while many were willing to accept the efforts to resolve the issue, some remained critical. They believed the apologies were insufficient and called for greater accountability, especially from Vichojo. Criticism also focused on how the organization handled the situation and its impact on reputations of those involved. Amidst these debates, speculation arose about Nux's plans, with rumors suggesting that he might create a new VTuber group. This speculation was fueled by content creators linked to Nux, who mysteriously added Redacted to their Twitter bios, hinting at a potential project that could compete with Vishojo. Some people viewed this approach as a strategic decision following the controversy, while others considered such speculations as far-fetched. As the community progressed, the emphasis shifted towards content creation and the continuous expansion of the VTuber sphere, taking into account the lessons learned and striving for a future characterized by a more peaceful atmosphere. Alongside these attempts at reconciliation, a separate narrative emerged, overshadowing Vishojo's handling of the security breaches. An alternative theory surfaced, proposing that Vishojo's public statements post controversy aimed to minimize their mishandling of the phishing incidents. This viewpoint suggests that Vishojo's declarations were crafted to project a sense of control, despite the possibility that the seriousness of the phishing incidents may not have been addressed promptly. Information revealed that Vishojo was informed as early as May about malicious entities utilizing fake domains to impersonate the organization, resulting in doxing incidents. Despite this knowledge, it was argued that Vishojo failed to adequately warn VTubers and potential recruits about these security risks, highlighting a deficiency in proactive communication and preventative measures. The criticism aimed at Vishojo revolve around a key issue, the company's failure to actively offer necessary warnings or guidance on how to differentiate genuine communications from the agency. This absence of precautionary advice is viewed as a major oversight, potentially exposing VTubers and potential candidates to avoidable risks, thus casting Vishojo in a negative light of neglect. Critics argue that Vishojo tried to redirect attention towards Nuxtaku's actions, branding his video as irresponsible in an attempt to divert from their own failures and account for example, while Nyaners publicly expressed Vishojo's disapproval of Nux's video release, the private messages between Nux and a cybersecurity representative from Vishojo portrayed a completely different scenario, indicating an endorsement, or at the very least, no clear objective.
objection to the video's publication. There is widespread speculation that V Shoujo, after witnessing the community's strong negative reaction, may have decided to distance itself from the video to appease disgruntled members and conceal its prior knowledge and inactivity regarding the cybersecurity threats. Although these theories provide some insight into V Shoujo's potential motivations and internal decision making, they are purely speculative and lack concrete evidence to fully support the alleged dynamics within the organization itself. As the controversy has gradually died down and all parties involved appear to have moved on from the drama, the lack of clear communication and lingering questions contribute to an atmosphere of uncertainty, prompting the audience to question the accuracy of the narratives presented. This situation highlights a broader challenge faced by online communities and organizations, the need for transparency and the difficulties encountered when managing public controversies. Following the controversy, Nianers and Vishojo have since split paths moving forward, with Nianers deciding to depart from Vishojo and pursue a career as an independent content creator. She later joined Mythic Talent, a move influenced by her desire for greater creative control over her content. It is important to note that her departure was not due to any issues with other Vishojo members or even Nux Taku, but rather a deeply considered personal choice. Nianers emphasized the significance of independence in her career, signaling a shift towards self-managed and creative autonomy. In the wake of Nianner's departure, V Shoujo has continued its operations and remains focused on supporting its talents. The company has made it clear that they respect Nianner's decision to leave and fully support her and her VTuber activities as an independent creator. And furthermore, she will still retain her intellectual property rights. Nux Taku has been concentrating on exploring new opportunities and maintaining connections with the community across various platforms. He is actively producing content that covers a wide array of topics, such as anime, video games, and discussions on internet culture. Nux is also involved in several podcasts like Some Ordinary Podcast and the Rant Cafe Anime Podcast, where he collaborates with other anime tubers to delve into anime-related subjects and broader pop culture trends. Nux's strategy for progression appears to revolve around diversifying his content and interacting with his audience through videos that extend beyond his YouTube channel's original focus. Although there are no specific details about upcoming major projects, Nux's continuous engagement in the anime and broader YouTube community demonstrates a strong dedication to expanding his channel and influence in these spheres. So as we conclude our exploration of the VTubing community, we are presented with a comprehensive story enriched with valuable lessons on resilience, adaptability, and maturity. Online creators face unique challenges, yet this story demonstrates their unwavering spirit as well as some of the more complicated aspects of those challenges. The saga of Nux Taku, V Shoujo, and the VTuber community underscores a fundamental truth that I have sought to demonstrate through the various stories shared on my platform. The complexities and nuances of online identity and community dynamics mirror those found offline. While these tales originate in specific communities, they resonate on a broader scale, offering insights into the web as a whole. Upon reflection, we're reminded of the dual nature of online communities. While they provide unparalleled opportunities for connection and creativity, they can also be breeding grounds for conflict and misunderstanding. However, it is within these conflicts that the potential for growth and reconciliation lies. The controversies that once threatened to divide the VTubing community have instead catalyzed introspection and transformation within itself, leading to a deeper understanding of the responsibilities that accompany digital influence. I have been Kusari, and thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.